Hi there. I wanted to go over uh, how to use the Armor 3 launcher and uh, some advanced uses and mostly I want to go over how to use the, the servers feature. Um, but uh, right here you can see you got the news. And this is from their dev blog, uh, which is like armor3.devhub or .dev or dev.armor3.com. That's what it was. Um, and here's your parameters. Um, so basically you can just manually add mods this way or no splash, um, which displays disables a splash screen at the intro. And so I usually have no splash, skip intro. Uh, I don't uh, run in window mode, but sometimes I do if I'm editing or something like that and I'm ba all tabbing back and forth. Um, there's some other stuff in here that I don't really use. Uh, let's see. There's advanced features. Um, some of the stuff I've kind of set up, so like I have eight CPUs, so I set it up to eight. Uh, I have hyper threading enabled, um, which I think it, it, from what I've seen, it's slightly improved uh, my performance. Uh, I have the world set to empty, um, which I thought it did. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I can just type it in. It was working without it. Wow, surprisingly. Um, and then you can have enable file patching. There's some other stuff in here. Those are the advanced features and the client. I don't really. That's for like, uh, what's it called? Um, I think this is for like uh, headless clients or something. I'm not too sure. Or you can directly connect using this feature. Uh, this is for server hosting. Uh, this is some other stuff. I always have show script errors. Um, this is for like editing and modding. Uh, I don't know what that's for. I've never used that. Here are the mods. Now in here I have some stuff that I've added in in here myself. So you can actually manually add mods that you download. So let's say you download a mod from Amaholic, right? Um, and then you uh, install it or you place the mod folder into your uh, Arma 3 direct uh, root directory, right? So now let's say you want to hook that up and link it up with your Arma 3 launcher, right? So you'd go here plus or add the local mod button. Uh, and then you can see, uh, let's see, then you can just literally select the folder. So um, you can just select like a, like this one. And this is the uh, A10 TGP mod, I think. And then you select folder and that's it. Um, and then it'll come up here and then you can, uh, you know, you, then you can use it. Uh, let's see, it should be here. here. Where is it at? I thought I had it in here somewhere. Yeah, here. Yeah, Man Super TGP. And it comes up like this. Now um, here you can actually um, enable the mod to use it. Um, you can also browse the the, look, the folder there, um, and then you can also delete. Uh, you can remove from the list and remove or remove and delete all the files. So that's the the features with that. And like some of these other ones, I've actually just subscribed to them on the Steam Workshop. And what's nice about that is that they just automatically download and stay up to date for me. Um, so the, this one, see how you can tell it says it's from the Steam Workshop up here. Um, so this is from the Steam Workshop. This one I've actually just, um, I've, Ace, I've actually just installed myself. And I actually don't subscribe to it on from Steam, mostly because when I go, when I um, want to run like RHS, I go into the, R, the Ace folder and I move the, the RHS compatibility PBOs into the add-ons folder. See with CBA, it's a little bit different, or the, uh, the Steam Workshop, um, you can't browse local folders. And that's because if you actually go in here to CBA, oh, it's actually there. Hmm. Okay, which is kind of weird. It wasn't doing that before. That's that's new. Huh. Anyways, well, I guess maybe you can do that. Well, sometimes it's well, actually, it's actually quite annoying to you um, because if you move around the mod for the the PBOs, like I used to have, I used to have uh, subscribed to Ace um, through Steam Workshop. So every time I would restart Armor 3 Launcher, it would put back all my my PBOs back to where they were. Uh, and it would say, oh, it updated because it thought it, it wasn't up to date. But uh, really, it, it was um, oh, Cortana. So, but anyways, yeah, it was just getting annoying. So I just down manually downloaded it. Um, but yeah, um, these are all the folders or the, those are, these are the mods. So let's say I wanted to join a server, right? Um, uh, actually, let's get rid of this. So I'm going to actually unload all. So you probably want to unload all your mods. Um, unless maybe you want to run some client side mods that you know will work with that server that you're joining, then you can do that. Um, but uh, I'm just going to go on the server. So let's say, okay, so actually, hang on. I want to, I want to enable, uh, not Diana sound, which one was it? Dragonfire. So I want to enable Dragonfire because the server I want to join, I know it accepts Dragonfire. So 
I want to enable dragon fire, and uh, really, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's all I want to enable. So that's kind of more client side mod. So I'm gonna go over here, and then I'm gonna browse the servers. Um, let's go. I just go to my favorites. Um, so let's say I want to join Insurgency Redux um, here. Then I uh, click join. Now it says, okay, mods required by the server here. Uh, you don't have to listen to this DLC thing crap. Um, you don't. No matter what, you can you can you can get in unless it's like the Tanoa map and you don't have the Tanoa map. You know what I mean? So then that's a little bit different. Um, but anyways, these are all the mods that it's telling me to load up. So look right here, it's telling me that's gonna load all these mods from my library. But I uh, hear it says, oh, it's picked up Ace. Now it's gonna subscribe and download the mod, or I can click on it, use the drop down menu and load from my library. Advanced Combat Environment 3.5.1, and for some reason, it's just it's kind of cool. It's a nice feature. This Ace mod folder is actually it recognizes that these are the same, you know, so that I can just load that, um, which is very nice. And then let's, it's telling me to, I'm mods not allowed on the server for some reason. It says unload this, but I know it's it's accepted, so I'm gonna keep it loaded, and then I'm gonna set up the mods as selected above and join the server. Now if you click the one below, it'll just default to what it thinks it should be. But I'm gonna do, click on this and that's gonna run my game um, the way I wanted it to. So, and now we're just gonna wait for it to boot up. <clears throat> now, I guess I'm guessing there's a lot of people that don't know about this because I noticed some people, they they, they browse the servers through the other, through the, uh, the server browser in game and then they try to go join a server and you know they they can't get in because they don't have the right mods um when uh you know some i know people can get into those servers because all those mods are you know on the steam workshop and you can easily download them it'll you know arma 3 launcher will pick up hey this mods on the steam workshop and i'm going to download it for you and subscribe to it and then you can play it you know on the server so you can see look it's uh putting me into the server and voila i'm up I'm in the server. I joined through the Armour 3 launcher. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I mean, so um, it's actually, I've found that, you know, joining through the Armour 3 launcher is a lot better than actually just using the server browsers a lot because, you know, sometimes you you want to, you want a server. Um, see, joining the server like this can be a pain in the butt because I got to filter out all the players um, and then look for the server that way and then you know the only ones that are i can go i can go into are the ones that are you know i can that allow the mods and stuff when i can just go into the armor 3 launcher and join that way so what that you know having the armor 3 launcher is awesome and this feature the server feature is amazing i mean most people who are playing playing armor 3 or are you know in the armor series and since like ofp you know think this is like amazing and really i mean this has been a long time a long time waiting for this feature um we've always wanted something like this um and uh, we're thankful to bi for it but uh anyways if you like this video give me a like and subscribe um but other than that you know this is how you join a server through the armor 3 launcher and this is uh this will get you into servers a lot better with you know setting you up with the mo proper mods and stuff anyways thanks a lot for watching